All right, well, that's a wrap, I guess. Uh, yeah, more RGB for everyone, I guess. I mean, it's nothing bad about that, right? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the RA Visuals YouTube channel. So today we are going to be doing another cool conversion here, and this involves our Dell Optiplex that we recently converted from its, you know, old, tired, dusty old case into this really cool new, uh, you know, RGB case right here that makes it look a lot better. And so what we're gonna do to make this build look even better, enhance it, if you will, is we are gonna go ahead and show you guys how to take off the stock Dell Optiplex CPU cooler, and we're gonna use a nice aftermarket RGB themed, uh, nice looking CPU cooler right here. Not necessarily even for more cooling performance because these don't really need it, but mainly just for aesthetics and possibly some cooling performance. I don't know. But anyway, guys, it's really easy. All it requires is one single adapter and you're good to go. So let's hear a word from our sponsor and we'll get right into it. Well, let me show you Into the AM. It's an awesome website with some crazy premium clothing that feel good and they look really good as well. They have some designs that you guys probably will never see anywhere else and they're constantly updating their product line. Don't believe me? Let me show you right now. Whoa, holy RGB, Batman. Look at this, I matched the entire background. That's awesome, thanks, man. You know, it's nice that I got one though. Uh, where can they get one? Head over to intotheam.com using my link in the description and you guys can go check out all of their crazy designs and pick something out for yourself. Oh, also, let me stop you real quick. Is there any kind of promo code or whatever? Cause everybody wants a discount. Well, I'm glad you asked because if you use the link down in the description below, you'll get an instant 10% off of your order. And if you're somebody who has no idea what to pick to wear, you can join their t-shirt club, which will get you a new t-shirt design every month for $14.95. All right, well, I'm sold. I think Into the AM is pretty awesome. And those graphics, I mean, come on, how can you beat that stuff, you guys? So if you guys feel the same way I do, check the link down below and get your guys some really awesome graphic tees and more with my special discount code. And now let's get back to the video. Okay, so to get this started, guys, let's go ahead and show you the adapter that you need to make this conversion possible. So what I ended up doing was going on Amazon and I just basically searched for Dell Optiplex CPU cooler adapter. So what basically comes up are these guys right here. And all this does is this converts the proprietary, uh, I think it's a five pin right here, and then it converts it to a four pin that you would typically see on a PWM uh, fan header right there. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get our case open right here and start this conversion. Now the first thing we need to do is go ahead and take off our stock Optiplex CPU cooler right here. First step, go ahead and take out the fan header, which is located right at the top right there. And there's just a little tab you gotta pull and it pulls right out. So you'll notice the, the similarity between this guy right here and the adapter I showed you just a little bit earlier. So you undo that, and then you're gonna go ahead and undo these four screws right here. Okay, when you get all four fully loose, you should be able to just gently pull and pull it off right there. And luckily, because I have replaced the CPU uh, thermal material on here before, um, this is not super, super caked on or stuck like some of the old Optiplexes will be. Okay, now that we have that done, one thing I want you guys to look for is the stock backplate that comes on your Optiplex. It'll be on the back of the motherboard right here. Let me go ahead and pull that off. So it might, might fight with you a little bit because I think it's taped down but you just need to pull this off because your new aftermarket one probably has its own backplate that comes with it. And you wanna save the stock Optiplex backplate uh, if you're planning on using that stock cooler ever again for maybe another build or something like that. So just pull this thing off right here and uh, put it aside with your old cooler. And now let's continue with the new one. Okay, now that we have the stock cooler off, what we need to do next is go ahead and clean all that old thermal material off of the CPU because we don't want to put our new uh, cooler on with the old thermal paste on there. So what I recommend is this stuff right here. I actually bought this kit forever ago. It's the Articlean um, kit that like helps you remove your thermal material. I've had this kit probably for years and it hasn't run out. So if you buy one kit, it'll last you quite a while. So you just use this part one right here, which is the uh, material remover. You put some drops on top of it and what it does is it basically cleans the CPU off and helps remove all that old thermal material. And then you wipe it with something like, I just use uh, some bathroom tissue right here or toilet paper, whatever you wanna call it. Um, you can use um, coffee filters, something like that, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, but I'm gonna let that sit for a second and then we're gonna clean it off. 
Okay, so we cleaned the old thermal material off and you can see that already it's pretty freaking clean. So, I mean, you could honestly leave it right there and it's probably fine, but this kit takes it a step further and lets you actually purify the surface and it makes it almost perfect. So all you gotta do is put a couple drops of this on top of it, let it sit for a little bit and then wipe as I just did. And what it does is it actually makes the surface of the CPU that much cleaner and uh, it just makes it better for your next application of thermal material. Okay, and now that our i7-4770 here is nice and clean, we can move on to installing the aftermarket CPU cooler. Okay, so taking a look at this cooler we got from this company actually called John's Bow. I've used one of these in a build I did recently, um, and I really like their stuff, and it was really easy to install, so that's why I wanted to use it today. Um, yeah, it's basically just a cool little RGB fan that I found, so I figured it'd be good. This is the CR1000 GT model. So let's get it open real quick. I'll show you guys basically all you need to know. Um, before we get started here, um, of course you got your manual. It gives you step-by-step -step directions on how to do this, um, but of course you can just follow along with me real quick. Um, your bag of hardware right here, we're gonna definitely need that, so we'll set that right there. And then of course, your cooler itself. So let me show this to you real quick. Um, so yeah, it's basically just got a 120 millimeter fan right here and uh, a nice tower cooler right here, which will have RGB on here and then on these little fins. That's what I like a lot about this cooler is that it's got RGB on the fins and whatnot too. And when it's in your case, it looks really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get started with how to install this thing. Okay, so now here we got everything we need to go ahead and install this CPU cooler. So what we need to do first is uh, make sure, yep, you got a screwdriver, good, because that's all you're really gonna need for this. Um, we got our screws that we're gonna screw in right there. And then uh, we have our bracket and our mounting plates or our mounting brackets right here. Um, they usually include Intel and AMD, but these are the Intel ones. And then they actually gave us some thermal paste, so that's kind of nice, because we'll need that too. So the first thing they want you to do is go ahead and install the brackets. So this guy right here, on pretty much any CPU cooler that you buy, they usually have something like this that covers the bottom plate. Make sure you always take this off. Don't ever install a CPU cooler with something like this on. That's bad news, you're gonna cause your CPU to heat up and make a lot of problems for you, so just get rid of that. Okay, so now that we have this installed right here, this is the fun part. Now we get to go ahead and install the uh, mounting bracket on the back of the motherboard, and then we can go ahead and mount our new CPU cooler. All right, so if you guys have the back plate here adjusted to what motherboard that you have, you should be able to just go ahead and line up the holes and pop it on there. And luckily, this Dell motherboard already had some adhesive on the back, so it should just stick right there. You guys can always find some like 3M double-sided tape and do this too if you don't wanna make this hard on yourself. Um, but yeah, look at that fits right in there. Honestly, the stock one probably would've worked for this. I think the threads are the same. But anyway, we just better be safe than sorry. All right, now you might be thinking, let's chuck the CPU cooler on there. But no, you guys are forgetting something. You gotta make sure you put some thermal paste on that CPU first. All right, I'm just gonna literally squeeze out just a little bit, like the size of a grain of rice or maybe a pea, and that's it. Like that right there is, that, that might even be too much, but that's okay. We're good. Thermal paste is on. Now we can go ahead and put our CPU cooler on. This is where our cool adapter comes in. So we're gonna go ahead and take this uh, five pin right here adapter to four pin. We're gonna go ahead and take the five pin end right there and we're gonna plug it into the CPU fan header on our Dell Optiplex motherboard right there. And then I'm gonna leave this hanging so then we can plug in the fan after we install the fan itself down here. Okay, real quick, one thing I did notice about this CPU cooler I just caught myself was uh, to install the uh, back two screws right here, you actually gotta take the fan off. So uh, just using a screwdriver, if you just kind of pry at these little, um, these little metal hooks right here, that are on it, you can go ahead and just pull it off really quick and then get at them. Uh, I didn't even notice you had to do that, so that's that was my fault. But anyway, when you got that done, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start one corner real quick, and I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly put a little bit of a start on that one right there, and then I'm gonna do the opposite corner. The reason I'm gonna do that is to put equal pressure on uh, the actual CPU itself with the thermal paste. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start this corner. So I think it caught, there we go. And then I'm actually using my hand underneath it so I get all of the pressure that I need. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go up to this corner. I'm gonna start this one. Again, just using a star pattern to get equal pressure. And then I'm gonna go down to this one right here and get this one started. And you can actually hear it um, kind of make some noise as soon as you get it started. So there you go. So now that's started, I can see that those are actually on there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish torquing these down 
and then uh, we'll continue. And usually with these, um, you only need to tighten until it bottoms out because a lot of these new CPU coolers, they'll usually, they won't let you over tighten them. They'll just have a spot where like you'll get to the very bottom part and then it won't let you tighten anymore. So just look out for that. Okay, now that we got the fan back on, the last and most important part is the adapter and the actual CPU fan connector that came off of our new CPU uh, cooler. So like I said, four pin, four pin. All you gotta do is look at this point right here, line the pins up and there you go. That's literally it, you guys. Take the rest of this excess right here, shove it in the back of your case for some good cable management, and that should be it. All we gotta do now is go ahead and do a little bit of a peel. There you go. And now let's go ahead and boot this puppy up and see how cool this thing looks. All right guys, so welcome to my favorite part of every video, getting to show you guys the end result of all of our hard work. So let's go ahead and flip this thing on and see how awesome this CPU cooler looks. Nice. Look at that thing. That thing is awesome. Boots up, works first try. That thing is quiet. Yeah, it's super quiet and it's moving a lot of air, you guys. That is awesome. So that's really it, you guys. Honestly, that's like I said, super easy, one adapter, that's all it takes. Um, just to get a, an aftermarket CPU cooler like this, it may make your case. And your overall all build just looks so much better, just aesthetically. So if you guys wanna do it, make sure you guys take my tips and uh, you know follow along and have a good time with it. So if this helped you guys out, be sure to like the video, I'd really appreciate that. And most of all, if you guys really appreciate what I do here, make sure you guys can subscribe, put those notifications on, so you guys can see more content just like this. But until the next one, I'll see you guys later.